there are a lot of graphic designers in this planet Earth. Some work in different industries, some work as self-employed, and others work from home. But one thing is that every designer keeps working hard every day to get discovered in the labor market. Even though graphic design is a very lucrative profession, many small designers keep struggling hard to get discovered in the labor market. And here is why. Your design speaks louder than your loudest voice no matter how loud your voice is. And if your design do not meet professional standard, you keep struggling to get discovered. After all, professional designers don't shout out their skills. Their skills pulls them out of the crowd. So for this reason, I have chosen to tell you from my experience how to make your design stand out and you can do the exact same thing all you have to do is to stick around till the end of this video and don't skip one bit of this video so let's jump right in Hello you guys, my name is Dennis, helping you build your design skills. If learning graphic design and making creative designs suit your interest, consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos like this one. The first thing you should do to make your design stand out is to understand your design purpose. It is one thing to get a design project and it's another thing to understand the design project. One of the things I have learned from pro designers is taking their time to understand a design project before embarking on the project. And this has to do with listening carefully and following your client's brief carefully. Consider the audience you are designing for before embarking on any design project course. The pattern of design you will follow must be in line with your target audience. If you are designing for children, consider the font, the shape and the colors you use because it has to be interesting to children. The design should not be too serious but playful. And if you are designing for a gym, bodybuilders can play the game. All I'm trying to say is consider your target audience before designing for them. Consider how they will feel, how they will react or how they will perceive the message your design converts. Next on my list is similar to the first point and that is brainstorming before starting a design. You should be able to deduce what font will be perfect for your design, what color goes perfectly for your design, and what resources will you need to accomplish a perfect design project. And if possible, draw a sketch of your design before starting the design proper. Brainstorming helps you gather enough ideas and helps you stay on the track. At this point, you are inspiring yourself to do a perfect design. To summarize the whole story, never start a design on screen. Plan out before you embark. Next on my list, get inspiration from the best designers. If you are a beginner, it is normal to follow top designers and try to design like them. Try to recreate what they create but never steal or copy and paste a design. Admire top designers and seek for their corrections and recommendations on your project. And this will sure help you stand out. When you admire pro designers work, you will one day design like them. I have been inspired by by pro designers so much in the past and being inspired by them is part of my success till date. Next on my list, stick to high quality images. Images always make a design more interesting and this is because images are able to tell a story and connect with users through imagery. But then working with low quality images can bring a very bad viewer experience to your design. Using high quality images helps you keep a good profile and it makes your design stand out. If you start practicing the culture of working with high quality images you will never regret making that choice there are lots of websites that offer high quality images and one of them is our sponsor for today's video which is shooter stock shooter stock helps creative professionals from all backgrounds and businesses of all sizes produce their best work with incredible content and innovative tools all on one platform. Shooter Store has over 370 million high quality images as of March 31st, 2021 and still adding more every day. If you are a content creator, then you have a lot to do with Shooter Store because they have over 1 billion video clips, music and even images. To enjoy all this cool stuff from Shooter Store, sign up with my link 
in this video's description and get your first 10 images for free. So ensure to check out Shooter's talk after watching this video. Next on my list, illustrate informations with shapes and icons. Illustrating informations can make a thousand words one word. Take a look at how statistical reports are being explained infographically. And that is why you should make good use of infographics to make your designs not to be too wordy. Why pro designer stands out is because they have discovered that less is better so keep things less by using icons and shapes to make a long message shorter and this is why I use these icons to represent date venues and time next on my list pair contrasting fonts contrast as the name implies is about finding totally different but still complementing typefaces that are each fit for their intended application. Traditionally, this involves pairing a serif with a sans serif. Typefaces will generally conflict if they are too similar. Two ever so slightly different serifs or sans serif really create nice font pairing. As a graphic designer, the important thing is to establish a clear hierarchy. This could be as simple as varying size and weight of the same typeface. Some perfect font pairs are Calvert and Acumin, Montserrat and Carrier New, Pacifico and Quicksand, Oswald and Lato, Super Grotex and Minion Pro, and also Liba Franklin and Liba Bascafio as the last but not the least typeface. There are so many other font pairs you need to know, and that is why I'm planning a dedicated video on font pairs and how to choose fonts perfectly. Next on the list, use contrasting colors. This is similar to the previous point but this time it's all about color contrast. Color contrast is more than just opposite like black and white or large and small. In fact, contrast is an important design principle and should be part of every design project. And this is because contrast helps organize your design and establish a hierarchy which simply shows which parts of your design are most important and signals viewers to focus on those. Good use of contrast adds visual interest, but then a layout where everything is the same size, shape or color is going to look pretty boring, but contrast spices up the whole thing. Color contrast should be applied in a balanced way to avoid having too much contrast because this can result to a bad design that is visually confusing. So what's the secret? I know many will think that there is a magic behind this, but hell no. The process often starts to happen subconsciously when you start building your design skills. A perfect rule I have obeyed and it works for me even till date is choosing a dominant color and a complementary color and then choosing a proper accent to finish up the whole stuff. Take note of this point, dominant, complement and accent. Contrast is a design tool that anyone can use to organize and add visual interest in their design projects. Next on my list, use the rule of thirds to align your images. The grid system is also known as the rule of thirds. Grids encourage alignment and it creates a set structure for you to align elements in your design. In doing this, you can create for yourself a neat, clean and organized layout. Your design stands out when you place images in your design considering the rule of thirds. Next on my list and that is the ninth point which is never forget the kiss rule. You might have heard this before, never forget the kiss rule and this means keep it simple stupid. Keeping things simple gives your design project a more professional look. I always make this mistake before by trying to go extra mile to make my designs perfect until I found the kiss rule. So keep everything simple, stupid, and you will achieve a perfect design. This is one of the rules pro designers use that makes them seem better than you. Last but not the least, use your backgrounds in the background. To achieve a design that stands out, backgrounds should be as its name implies, in the background. If your background conflicts with another element in your design, then it's no more a background. Use different effects like transparency, opacity, and other effects to keep your backgrounds in the background. Let me know your thoughts about this video and if you have other tips you have used to make your design stand out, 
let us know on the comments don't forget to leave a like and share this video to other graphic designers that may find this video helpful this will really help us to grow higher than this and it will help other designers build up their skills thank you so much for watching i will see you next time